In our previous video, we discussed how to compare two different data sets. And in this video, we are going to compare variables in Stata. So if we have two variables and we want to compare them, uh, we, we can use this uh, compare command in Stata and we can also access this from the data menu. We click on uh, data, then data utilities, and we have over here two commands. One is related to compare data set that we discussed in our previous video. And this one is compare two variables. That is what we are going to discuss uh, today. So the menu is quite simple. We just give two variables and click OK and put compare it. And then we have we can repeat this by group or uh, we can use if conditions uh, or in uh, criteria, right? Okay, so let's import our uh, data. Uh, the syntax for this is compare. This is the command name, then variable one, variable two, and then if we want, we can have if and in conditions. Okay, so we have our data. What we would do is we would uh, create, uh, generate a new variable, let's call it price two. And let's have the same data as of price variable so we have price and price to variable but let's make some changes to this price to variable so when we compare it with our price variable the original variable we can uh, see how the differences are uh, shown in stata so let's replace price to variable with the missing value in uh, row one to five uh, replace price two with uh, 3000 value 3000 in 6 to 8 and 19000 in row 9 to 10. Uh, let's also make some changes to our original price variable. Let's uh, have missing values in row 5 and 7. And I am specifically using this because when I, I will compare variable, it would give us a better idea of how this compare command works. So now I'm going to use this compare command, compare price and price to variable. These are two variables that I want to compare. So this uh, here we have this uh, comparison. So what it says is that in uh, two observations, the price variable is less than price to variable. In 64 observations, we have similar values and in one observation, the price have a greater value than price to variable. And then these 67 are jointly defined. Uh, that means there are certain values in them, uh, but jointly defined doesn't mean that the values are same. We know that it is just 64 observations, but what this 67 means is that uh, there are 67 rows, there are 67 observations where price and price to have certain values. Uh, I mean, there is no missing values in these 67 observations in both these two variables. So we can confirm it from here. There were 64 equal. Then we had two and one, and that is equal to uh, 67. <laughs> and then we had two observations where price variable was missing only. Four observations where price two was only missing. And then there was one observation where both price and price two is missing and total of 74 observations we do have. Now, this uh, this data over here is somewhat tricky and it took me some time to, uh, to make sense of this. So what it presents is these are differences. So difference in minimum value between price and price two, difference in average value between mini, uh, price and price two, and then difference in maximum value between uh, price and price two. So if we compare this row, where it says that price is greater than price two, what it says is that the difference between minimum value is this much. And the average, the difference between the average is this much. Luckily in this case, uh, the minimum average and maximum are all the same. But if I, I if, let, let me use this summarize command. So summarize price if price is greater than price two. This is what we are doing, right? We are looking at 
what is the uh, mean minimum and maximum value of the price variable if price is greater than price 2 this is what we get and then we are going to look at to the mean minimum and maximum value of price 2 if again price is greater than price 2 this is the uh, row that we are looking at this 2189 right okay so <laughs> We get that price have a mean value of 5198 and the mean value of price 2 is 3000. So what is the difference between the mean value of these two? That is 2189 and this is what it says. This is the difference between the averages of these two variables. Similarly, this is the difference between the minimum value of these two uh, variables. We can also use the if condition. So compare price price 2 if price is greater than 10,000 we can also use buy sort so it would compare it for both the foreign and the uh, uh, the foreign and the domestic cars separately so we have here the comparison between the foreign car and how we see that uh, the price and price 2 have uh, similar uh, values uh, in, in the foreign group, but the differences are in the domestic uh, group. We can also compare a string variable, uh, but that would be somewhat different, uh, different uh, output. Uh, the string variable that we have in our data is this make, where we have the name of the car. So let's uh, make some changes. Let's generate make 2, that would be equal to make. And then let's replace make2 is equal to uh, no value in row 1 to 4. And if we compare make and make2, it would just give us the counts. Uh, so make is not equal, is equal to make2 in 70 observations, whereas make2 is missing only in uh, 4 observations. Uh, and it would not give us the mean uh, differences because that makes sense because it is a string va variable. So uh, thanks for watching this video. Uh, do uh, like this video and do hit the subscribe button.